Hi everyone, it's Natalie from Dark Fantasy again in my mailbox. It is Tuesday, so it is late, but um, work's been busy. I was ill on Saturday, I was working Sunday and yesterday, so better late than never. So I've got, I think, all of these came from the book depository. So let's just get started. So I've got The Dead and Gone, that's by Susan Beth Pfeffer, I think you pronounce it. And this is the second to the Life as We Knew It books. And I also got the third, This World We Live In. And I haven't put a review up yet of Life as We Knew It, but it's really good. So basically the story is there's um, a meteor that was going to hit the moon and everybody thought it would just make a crater and that would be it. But no, it was bigger than they thought, the trajectory was different. So the moon actually moves close to the earth. And of course the moon controls the tides, it creates volcanoes and earthquakes and what type of it's all about that. I also got As You Wish by Jackson Pierce. And I've read her sister's read, which I really enjoyed. And this one's from what I can gather, it's about a girl that wishes on a genie and then I think she falls in, in love with the genie. So she doesn't want to make any more wishes because otherwise he'll leave. So that was that one. And some of these I've never heard about in my life, so they're a bit of a gamble. So we have The Water Wars. I really like that cover. This is by Cameron Stracker. Yeah, I so love that cover. Right, and this is basically what it says that they're rationing water, that the rivers have dried up um, and this guy Kai knows some sort of secret the government are keeping so, and he then he disappears so it's a dystopian but it's like a mystery and stuff as well and got Girl Parts by John M. Cusick and I love that cover as well. And even the back. You can't really see, but it's like a bubble wrap. Oh, that looked really cool. So basically, she's part girl, part robot. And so, like, all these boys love her. So that looks really good. We've got Birthmark. And again, I really like that cover. And this one, the back sounds so good. I, don't, I wouldn't normally, because I don't tend to listen to them if I watch videos, but I'm just going to read the back to you because it sounds amazing. So, Gaia closed her eyes and paused. She had never performed a blade delivery. She had seen her mother do it almost a dozen times, but only when the mother's life was at risk. And in most of those cases, the mother had died afterwards. But here the mother was dead already, there was nothing to lose, and there was a chance, a remote one, certainly, but a chance, that she could save the baby inside. It took her less than an instant to realise she had made her decision already, the moment she'd seen the mother drop through the hangman's platform. Ooh, that sounds good. So basically, there's, like, people who live inside the wall and those who live outside and they have to hand over a small quota of babies. So, we have Lockdown by Alexander Gordon Smith. And, I mean, I don't know anything about it really, but it's about Fairness Penitentiary, so an underground hole where there's gangs and guards and they're all trying to escape and I read like the prologue and it does sound really good it looks really good and then Solitary is the second one but I love the spines of these 
They're exactly the same and they have one and two on. I just think they look so cool on the shelf. And then we also have Drought. And that's by Pam Blackwall. I don't know how you say that. Um, I think it's the same sort of thing as Water Wars. Um, she lives in some sort of congregation and it's her job to get the water and then she was thinking of leaving with a boy but then she thinks they might die because it's her job to get the water blah 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 so we got Tattoo by Jennifer Lynn Barnes I've seen this before but never bothered um, so four girls decide to get a tattoo and then somehow along the way they manage to get supernatural powers don't ask me how We'll find out later. So let's go. Got All Unquiet Things by Anna Jarzab. Zab. Don't know. Um, but I think it's about a girl that's died, and then her friends are convinced that they've put away the bad, the wrong person for who killed her. So that one and then for review from Bloomsbury I think most people have got this we've got Deception by Lee Nichols it's a Haunting Emma novel and I think we've all heard that it's a ghost story so yeah so that's everything I got this week well that's last week um, so let me know what you've got and if you've read any of those then let me know what you thought of them and I'll catch you next time